CDC says the effects of tear gas usually last about 15 to 30 minutes, but depending on a number of factors, it could impact your health down the road. The sound of tear gas being fired sends crowds running in fear. It's suffocating. Justin LaFrancois is with Queen City Nerve, an alternative newspaper. He shot this viral video appearing to show protesters surrounded by the chemical agent. What happened was essentially inhumane, unethical treatment of protesters. And as the debate rages on, we looked into what exactly tear gas does to the human body. According to the CDC, the short-term impacts of riot control agents include runny nose, excessive of tearing and coughing, as well as skin burns, chest tightness, and shortness of breath. And you feel like you're going to die. It's like you're swallowing bleach. But chemical agents also have possible long-term impacts, according to the CDC. The agency says long-lasting exposure or a large dose, especially in a closed setting, can cause severe health issues down the road. That ranges from glaucoma and blindness to death due to chemical burns in the throat and lungs. I think we want to be careful about how we use it. Dr. Joe Coons is a criminal justice professor at UNC Charlotte. Most of the time, people will not die if they breathe in tear gas if you're in a room and you breathe in a bunch, you could potentially uh, die that way. Last night, the city council voted to defund chemical agents in CMPD's 2021 budget, but the vote does not impact the existing stockpile. And unlike the Mecklenburg County Sheriff's Office, CMPD has not announced plans to stop using tear gas. We want to be careful about uh, ridding ourselves of its uh, availability, uh, unless we have other methods and, and means of managing large crowds. We reached out to CMPD today to see if they plan on using tear gas for crowd control in the future. At this point, we have not heard back. In Charlotte, Alex Shabbat, WCNC Charlotte.